I thought it would be interesting to ask ChatGPT for sound design instructions and see if maybe it could be a useful tool to learn sound design, especially for beginners. So I will be using Whitel and then I'm just gonna follow the instructions of ChatGPT and we're gonna see if we get a useful sound out of this. So I have simply asked it to help me with synthesizing a water sound. In this case, we are gonna create a water drop sound. And it laid out the different steps necessary to arrive at the sound down here. So let's just start with the first two steps. So we are gonna use Vital as our synthesizer and we can use a sine wave for this. So let's just change this to a sine wave. So first two steps done. Now it gets a bit more interesting. We are supposed to use a quick attack and a short decay. Makes sense for a water drop sound. So let's just dial that in a bit. I'm actually gonna turn the sustain down here and the release as well a bit. Now we have this sound. So the next step in this case, it recommends that we implement some pitch modulation. And so we can just use an LFO as it suggests to modulate the pitch. So let's just use LFO1 directly on the pitch of this oscillator. Obviously this is a really short sound, so this LFO needs to be short as well accordingly. Essentially now we have two ways to do this. We can either have it increase pitch or decrease in pitch and we are going to try both ways. But I think naturally the way water droplet usually sounds, we are going to have the pitch going up. It's also important to play with the tempo here, depending on the length of the sound. You can also increase this maybe, just so we hear the effect a bit more. Let's leave it like that for now. So now we come to the filter section. It suggests that we use a low pass filter and remove some of the higher frequencies. That's easy to do, so let's just do it like this. Let's just leave it like that for now. Obviously this is going to have a bigger impact depending on the pitch we are playing this in. And then onto the effects. We can add effects like chorus, reverb and delay. Okay, so let's just try this. Maybe try just a default chorus here. Add a rather low mix. And with delay we should probably use just a really short one. Maybe something like this. It's maybe also better to dial this in with the frequency in seconds here. Okay. So essentially you don't really want to hear the delay. You just want a rather short ripple-like effect at the beginning of the sound. Also just dial the feedback back, set it to zero. I mean, this could be useful, but I'm not really gonna use this here. Of course, yeah, we can use modulation. We could maybe use a really quick LFO on the level of this and just see if maybe this gives us an interesting effect. Okay, and then it suggests layering. So we can just use essentially the same sound with a few variations for layering. So we can easily do that as well, just enable the other two oscillators and set them to sine waves as well. And I'm gonna use the same LFO for the pitch modulation, I'm just gonna use a different setting for the pitch and on this one as well. So we already have some variation there. We can also maybe use one and make it a bit wider here with the unison. And we can use the same volume automation here as well. And now I actually want to change the pitch LFO here and just have the pitch increase. Just set the sustain to zero here. I think this is an okay water drop sound. And I actually think that as a basic guideline for creating this kind of effect, this is not too bad. And you're pretty much gonna use the same steps for creating a lot of different sounds. You're gonna use a volume envelope to just shape the overall amplitude of the sound. Then you're gonna use different types of modulations to make it more realistic. You're gonna use filters and 
effects, you know, especially reverb to put it in a space. And yeah, then you're going to use some more modulations and some layering to make it sound more realistic or to make it sound bigger. So maybe the next time you're wondering how you could create a certain sound, how you could synthesize a certain sound or what kind of elements you need to layer to get a certain sound, maybe you could just ask ChatGPT and you might get a few useful tips out of it.